All right, going to do a video debunking some of the false doctrines taught in the New St. Joseph's First Communion Catechism. This is basically an illustrated children's book for the Catholic Church. And there's several kinds of false doctrine they teach in here. And I'm going to go through and debunk that right now. So, on page 37, they say, Baptism is birth, by it we are born of God. He sends his son into our soul. What they're saying here is that you have to get baptized as a baby, you know, as seen in the, on the visual, they have to get baptized as a baby, and that baptism is what, is what saves you. Now, is, is this taught in Scripture? No, it's not. In fact, Scripture teaches the opposite. In Acts chapter 8, verse 35 to 38, Philip could not get baptized until after he believed. Read Acts 8, 35 to 38. You know, Philip asked me, what, they asked, what, does, what doth hinder me from being baptized? And they tell him they have to believe on Jesus. So, are babies capable of believing on Jesus? Uh, no, they're not. So can babies get biblically baptized? No, they can't. Infant baptism is a false doctrine. Page 49, they say the Mass is our gift to God. We offer bread and wine. The priest does it for us. We give our hearts to God. Then the priest changes the bread and wine, and they become the body. So basically, you're having to eat the physical flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. So... Isn't that cannibalism? Leviticus chapter 7 verse 27 and Leviticus chapter 17 verse 10 forbid eating flesh and drinking blood. It's that simple. You cannot eat flesh and drink blood. The mass is a clear violation of that because you're having to eat the physical flesh and blood of Jesus Christ. Sorry, my cat is messing around in the background. On page 63, they say, Confess to Almighty God that the uh, Blessed Virgin, or Blessed Mary, ever virgin, to bless Michael the Archangel and to so basically... Michael the Archangel, John the Baptist, the Holy Apostles, Peter and Paul, and to all the saints that I have sinned exceedingly. So you're having to confess to all these, these uh, people, these, sin, these sinful people, that you've sinned. Um, the Bible says you confess your sins to God only. Let me show you that. This is idolatry, you're having to confess your sins to the, the Apostles and Mary. It's wicked false doctrine. Uh, I've written in my notes, we confess our, uh, we confess our sins to God, 1 John 1.9. Only God can forgive our sins, according to Mark 2, 7 and Luke 5, 21. Cat. And Catholics will try to explain away this verse by saying that it was the Pharisees speaking. Well, here's the thing. The Pharisees were speaking the truth in that case. I wrote, I've written my notes. The Pharisees said that because Jesus was forgiving sins, and the Pharisees thought that Jesus was only a man. So that's why they said that only God can forgive sins. However, Jesus is God, so he can forgive sins. The Pharisees were speaking the truth in those two verses. Only God has the power to forgive sins. It was just basically a known fact back then. All the, all the Jews back then knew only God can forgive sins. So Jesus was going around forgiving sins. They told him, hey, you can't forgive sins, but only God can. And then Jesus says, I am God. You know, that's simple. So that, that's just some of the false doctrine taught in this, this uh, New St. Joseph's Communion Catechism. It's hard to read this thing. Uh, all these Catholic books, I just, I just can't read. I don't know why. It's weird. I mean, it's almost like the Spirit. It's just like, like the Holy Spirit inside of me. Just like, don't read that, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. God bless you. Goodbye.